We're on page 309, uh, section 7.2, graphing equations. And the first part of this is finding out whether certain points that are given are solutions or not. The first one in the book is, the question is, is 3, 7 a solution for y equals 2x plus 1? Is 3, 7, is the point 3, 7 a solution for y equals 2x plus 1? So what we do, as you can see, is we write 7 question mark equals, does 7 equal 2 times 3 plus 1? Where do we get the, the 3 and where do we get the 7? Well, we got them from the point given. We substitute 3 for the x value and 7 for the y value. According to the equation, 7 equals 2 times 3 plus 1. And we solve it, you get 7 equals 6 plus 1, which is true. 7 does equal 7. So yes, 3, 7 is a solution of y equals 2x plus 1. Is 2, 3 a solution for y equals 2x plus 3? Deontay, what do we do? How do we solve it? What do we do? You plug the 2 in for the x. And okay. you plug the 3 in for the y. I'm Deontay, yes. Yeah, that's right. You're Deontay. Yeah. Um, he's going to plug in for x. The 2 is going to go in for x. And Olivia is going to write that. And the 3 is going to go in for y. So write 3 equals. Pumpkin pie. I'll just do it right here so we can three. see. 3 <laughs> equals. Now I'm going to put a 2 here. And then pocket. you can put the, yeah, the pocket. pocket. Right, plus 3. Uh, do it in black. There. Plus 3. All right. Now we solve it. Go ahead and solve it, Olivia. Is that true? No. No way. It's false. That's false. That's false. Right? False. So, is 2, 3 a solution for y equals 2x plus 3? No. No. Put a big no there. It's not. A big no. That is no. No in Spanish is no. No. That's right. Thanks, Olivia. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Deontay. You can wave on your way out. No. Um, you know what? You're going to do something fun. Really, really? fun. Yes. Okay, we're on page 311 on your homework, number 9, x plus y equals 6. And what do you have to do to graph this, or how do you find the solutions for this? You create a t-table. These are called or xy chart. They're called t-tables or xy charts. We chose 0. We always choose 0 for x because it makes it easy. It's easy to solve for y when you make x equal to 0. So we plug in 0 for x and we get 0 plus y equals 6 and y equals 6. And we plug that into the t-table for y. And 0, 6 are the coordinates of our point right there. 0, 6 is a solution for the line x plus y equals 6. You've got to get this lingo right. 0, 6 is a point. They're also coordinates because 0 is the x-coordinate and y is the y-coordinate. 6 is the y-coordinate. Okay, so Jessica, you had a, a question. What do we do next? That's what your question is, right? How do we know what to put in here? How do you decide? Yes, Alec. Uh, whatever two numbers together, together equals x. That's true. Whatever two numbers here equal x plus y equals six. But how do you do? What do you do though? What do you actually do now? So like think of a number. One. Think of a number. Could be like five and one. Well, you don't know about the one, but you could pick five. Sure, pick five. You just randomly chose five. You want to pick something that's not too big, obviously. So we're going to put five. You could just do one. But that's we're going to illustrate why it's good to pick small numbers. But five is good. Illy, when we have five here for x, how do we find y? Five plus one equals six. That's right. Five plus what equals six. In this case, five plus y equals six. <laughs> and that means y equals what? One. One. Because we, I'm assuming you know how to work with equations. You subtract five on both sides and you get y equals one. And where does that y equals one go, Don? Where does that go? That right here. Right in here. Right. So now we've got two points. And how do we plot them? Well, you already learned how to do that. Five, one. We go five over x, right? One, two, three, four, five. And one up. And then you label the point five, one. Okay? That's enough to draw a line. Actually, that's all you need to draw a line. What do you need to do to draw a line here? Does anybody know? Omave? Um, what do you need? 
Like well, how do, we, how do we draw a line? You connect them. You connect them. That's as simple as that. And I'm just going to move over like here. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Rachel. I'm going to move over here and connect them. And there you go. And label it x plus y. I just want to look at the line. It's got an x for that. Good job. Whose hat is that anyway? This is example three on page 309 and 310. It's asking you to find three solutions of y minus 3x equals negative 2. So how do you find three solutions of a given equation? The best way is to make an xy chart. xy charts work by plugging in values for x. You get to choose the values for x and then you find the values for y. So the, one of the best values to choose for x always is, is zero. Because why? Because it eliminates the x value. It eliminates everything around it. Zero times anything is zero. So y minus three times zero is equal to negative two. Then three times zero is gone, and you're left with y equals negative two. Notice that the negative two is what we put into the chart under the y part of the table. Okay, so the corresponding value for y when given x equals zero is negative two. They work together. If you were to go down a graph, that would be the point zero, two, zero negative two in, uh, it would be on the y-axis down uh, as a y-intercept. Now the next point, we choose the two, okay? We decided to put two in there. We could put one, we could put three, we could put any other number, but we decided for two, and when we solve for two, what does that mean? We substitute two in, into the x value here. So we did that down here. y minus three times two equals negative two. That's y minus 6 equals negative 2. And when we solve that, we add 6 on both sides, we get y equal to 4. And guess what? That goes in the chart as well, in the table. The corresponding value for x is 2, y is 4. That's going to be put on a graph as well. Then we put in negative 2. x is negative 2. We substitute that in right here for x. We solve for y. y plus 6 equals negative 2. Subtract 6 on both sides. y equals negative 8. And we put that in the table. And these are our set of points, which we can then graph and get a line. So back to our question, find three solutions of y minus 3x equals negative 2. Well, three solutions, 0, negative 2, 2, 4, and negative 2, negative 8. Those are three sets, of, those are three points which are solutions to the line. All right, good luck in trying to figure it out. Page 307, <laughs> 1 through 28 all, and page 311, 1 through 30 all. Hey, what is that? Here. It's a joke. Life is a joke. Whose hat like is that world, anyway? Man. Life is one big joke. What is, whose hat is that anyway, do you know? I don't know. Is it Omave's hat? It said it was I think it is, actually. Um, you know what? You're going to do something fun. Really, really fun. Yes. Just a second. It's fine. Hey, can you grab those two boards over there? This stuff? Do you know how to edit this stuff? Banana apple. Yeah, just yes, put it. Production. Banana apple. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Let's go. Sit down. I don't know. Just make Hi. it fun. Oh, wait. I think, I think this one's still going. It's still... Now, kid. It's just me, you, and your books at home trying to plod through it. Sweat it out now. It will do you good because later on the test, it's not the time to sweat. You want to breeze in here tomorrow and nail this, don't you? Don't you? Well, then do it. Tell me. I'll tell you one thing. Do it right now. Good. Over and out. Talk to you later. This has been a Banana Apple production. Do your homework, kids.